I know there are people of various political views watching tonight, and I want you to know I promise to be a president for all Americans. You can always trust me to put country above party and self. In this election, we each face a question. What kind of country do we want to live in? There are some people who think we should be a country of chaos, of fear, of hate. But us, we choose something different. We choose freedom. Freedom, freedom. Loud Texas, welcome to the next president of the United States. Future is here. It's in our grasp. Let's go win. Harris, the president of joy, to lead us. A bluster and bumbling and chaos. We have seen that movie before, and we all know that the sequel is usually worse. On August 5th, she secured her presidential nomination with the 99% of vote participating delegates. Her nomination was officially certified by the Democratic National Committee. Ex-President Jimmy Carter made it to his 100th birthday to fill his wish of voting for Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris also has the support of former Republican Vice President Dick Cheney and Barbara Pierce Bush, the daughter of former President George W. Bush, a Republican president. She was born in Oakland, California. Her parents met as part of a black student group at the University of California, Berkeley, 1962. They divorced in 1972. Her mother was a cancer researcher. She was mainly raised by her mother, maintained a close contact with her Indian family and frequently travelled there. She also has a younger sister. If she becomes president, she will join a long list of presidents who have law degrees, including Franklin D. Roosevelt, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, Abraham Lincoln and Thomas Jefferson and more. While at university, she joined the debate team and was elected to the student council. And crime will keep coming down when we put a prosecutor in the Oval Office instead of a convicted felon. As a prosecutor in this role, she was known for being tough on gang violence, drug trafficking and sexual abuse. While campaigning for the role, she pitched herself as a get it done progressive. I solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And during such time as I hold the office of district attorney for the city and county of San Francisco. Congratulations. In 2010, she was narrowly elected California's Attorney General, winning by less than 1% becoming the first woman and the first black American to hold this post. It needs drastic repair. Early intervention leaves room in our prisons for the violent criminals who should be there. She became known for her prosecutorial style of addressing witnesses during hearings, which provoked criticisms and occasionally interruptions from Republican senators. In 2019, she campaigned for the Democrats' presidential nomination, but faced criticisms and dropped out the race in December of 2019. In August 2020, she was announced as a running partner for Joe Biden due to the racial injustice being a significant issue in the US. She became the first black woman to appear on a major party's national ticket and became the first black woman to be elected vice president of the United States. As vice president, she focused on voters' rights, preserving women's access to abortion and immigration. May be the first woman in this office. I will not be the last.